Hello everyone, I'm Ryan from DL Academy and in today's video we're going to be continuing our Python online bot for gaining Instagram likes and follows. Alright, so make sure you check out our Python course for beginners before uh, following this tutorial. You'll, uh, you'll find it on Udemy. We have links in the video description. So um, let's get back to our uh, program. We can simply uh, create our get page object. So GP, uh, let's let's import it first, of course. So we're going to be importing uh, get pages, and then we're going to be see GP equals uh, get pages dot get pages. Uh, this requires our driver variable and then we're gonna be saying GP dot um, whatever the name of the function is get followers get followers and then um, here we can remove this save it save it here save it here again and then we can say time dot sleep uh, let's leave for a minute after closing so let's try and run this program and and see what happens so So the program logged us in and we got an error. It says driver is not defined. Oh, okay, because um, we have to type in self.driver. Right, again, this is the same mistake. Self.driver to access the, the class variable. Self.driver everywhere. Okay, here it's until. So I swapped the T and the I, so until right there. Let's run it again. So now we're logged in. Okay, so it didn't find the the button. Oops, this button it didn't find it. So let's try and figure out why it didn't find it. Let's copy the X path. Okay, now I understand because I, I put um, some CSS instead of some um, X path. So here we just change it by CSS selector. And the second one sits, um, it's the X path, so we'll leave it to the X path. Let's do this. Run it one last time. All right, since we're getting an error, we'll have to change our tactic. We'll be using beautiful soup to fix um, this little annoying bug that we're having here. All right, so let's remove all of the last part and let's just um, get the HTML for only the main React section. All right, so we're gonna be adding uh, this link right here self.driver so let's just open our uh, terminal right here and navigate to our uh, directory where we saved um, our project so we're going to be typing in cd documents because we saved it in documents and then go to the folder ig uh, bt ig bot and type in main.py to run the program so we're running the script. It opens um, our so our driver opens this automated window, and it's gonna follow the script. And now it goes on this page. It opens. Uh, it clicks on the followers, and it scrolls back down. So um, we just have to add in uh, self right here, the driver dot get, and then copy the link over here which is the link of 
this page uh, it's a very popular Python learning uh, Instagram page so we're gonna paste the link inside the get followers function and here in our main function we're just simply calling this function through our object so um, now that we do this we're, uh, we're gonna be creating our follow button variable make sure you paste the correct CSS link CSS select your link right here um, to select the button we're gonna click the button and then we're gonna select the pop-up using webdriver wait again and once again we only use webdriver wait uh, when we're not sure the HTML has loaded yet so we use webdriver wait to make sure the uh, HTML loads before uh, we assign it to a certain variable and then we're gonna do some uh, things with variables in this case we're simply clicking um, on this button right here so as you can see um, we can run the JavaScript uh, through um, driver execute script function right here and what this does is it basically scroll down all the way if you noticed uh, when I run, run when I ran the program it scrolled down all the way and you'll notice that each time um, Instagram will load a little bit more uh, for example I'll click here is gonna load it's gonna we're gonna go all the way down and then each time we go down it loads uh, more elements more HTML elements and more pages that we can follow after so what we can do here is for example we could uh, simply right click inspect the element uh, let's right click let's inspect again and then you'll see we have a bunch of li elements so let's copy the CSS of the last element we're gonna be copying the selector let's paste it here just to view it and it says child 168 so this is the uh, 168 um, Instagram followers of this account so let's scroll all the way down and as you can see we loaded even more let's go down and let's do the same thing with the last one let's copy the selector and let's click it we have 192 and here we have 168 and here we have 192 uh, which means we have a, tw uh, a difference of 24 so each time we scroll down we have a difference of 24 let's let's check if our theory is correct let's copy copy selector paste it we have 204 okay so we were wrong it's 12 so in uh, which means that the first time uh, Instagram loaded it twice so each time we scroll down uh, Instagram loads 12 more profiles so let's just keep that in mind we'll write it down somewhere here um, for example we can put in some uh, a hash a hash and then 12 loads 12 um, pages per loading just uh, to remind us and so this is this gets the followers we can also create another function so let's define a function and call it uh, get page get a uh, number get num flw so get the number of followers um, paste in the self object as the parameter and what this function does is we want to retrieve this number we want to know how many followers uh, the page actually has so to do this so let's do it a bit differently let's copy this bit of code and let's paste it here all right so basically we're simply gonna load the page whenever we create our get page object and here in get followers we can say for example time dot sleep so we can sleep a second just to make sure the HTML has loaded properly and then let's create a variable called whatever in this case whatever you want uh, we'll call it FLW equals uh, we're gonna be saying self dot driver dot and then we're going to be, uh, no, let's do it different. So 
let's create a variable. We'll call it uh, anything you want. In this case, let's just call it FLW for followers equals web driver weight. Uh, let's pass in self driver as the first parameter, 10, just like we did before, until EC dot presence of element located, two parentheses by CSS selector once again, comma. And here we're just gonna access the basic uh, main page HTML. So React React root, and then we're gonna access a section a section, and let's access the main section. All right, and uh, let's start using uh, Beautiful Soup, which is the library that we imported before. And let's start um, actually making use of it now. So we'll create a variable. Uh, we'll call it SFLW for soup or beautiful soup. And this is going to be equal to uh, B. If you remember, we imported beautiful soup as B. So we just can type in B. And then inside, um, we just have to. Uh, we just have to input two parameter. The first one is gonna be the HTML code, and the second one is just gonna be um, a, a parser. So first one's gonna be the HTML code, and the second one is gonna be a parser. So let, uh, for the first parameter, we're simply gonna be typing in FLW dot get attribute, open parentheses, and this is, we'll type in inner HTML. So what this does is it simply um, gets the entire HTML of this page uh, in a text form. All right, so now we're gonna be creating a beautiful soup variable. Let's just call it uh, S F L W equals, so S for soup, um, B open parentheses. We're gonna be typing FLW.get attribute uh, open parentheses, uh, and we want the inner HTML. So what this does is it, this brings the HTML of uh, the page that we selected here through the CSS selector, and it's gonna pass it in uh, as an argument, and then we want to treat it uh, using an HTML.parser. Like this, now we created our variable. Uh, we can now um, we could print it, which we, we already did. So, uh, where is it? Uh, let's just print, print it and see where, uh, what happens. All right. So let's print S F L W and let's run the program. All right, so we go to this Instagram page, and as you can see, we printed the entire HTML um, here on the console uh, on the console log, and we can simply just copy all of this. Let's copy all of it right here, and let's open a new file and simply paste it. 